We're following breaking news this morning. A house explosion in Ann Arbor. It happened just after 6 this morning. We know one person is hurt and at least one home. Another home has been damaged. Jordan Burroughs is in Ann Arbor right now on 7th Street with an update for us. Jordan, good morning. Good morning, Chris and Sandra. We've set the scene for you all morning long. I've been able to talk to many community members. Uh, the person who was inside this home explosion here, his name is Tom. Community members say that he truly is lucky to be alive. They called it a miracle that he was able to get out of the house with just minor injuries. Uh, he was taken to the hospital around 6.30 this morning, but the neighbor uh, across the street, the neighbors just to the right of this house that were evacuated, say they cannot believe that he was able to get out of this house. They say within 10 to 20 minutes, the home eviscerated and destroyed. The home thrown all across the street. There's glass, there's shrapnel and debris all from the house. DTE Energy is out here. There's several firefighters out here. Uh, preliminary reports say that a propane tank may have caused this fire, but we know the fire marshals, they will be the ones who will decide uh, what happened uh, to this house, the exact cause of this. That's unknown at the time, but they do think a propane tank may be the cause. Neighbors for miles on this side of the street, on the other side of the street, say they heard and saw things, saw what happened around 6 this morning. You're going to hear all from those neighbors coming up on CBS News Detroit at noon, but all in all, a house destroyed here on South 7th Street in Ann Arbor. One person, that man's name is Tom with minor injuries. He is going to be okay. One more thing to add here on South 7th Street, the road between Madison and Davis will be closed for several hours today. Reporting live in Ann Arbor, Jordan Burrow, CBS News, Detroit.